गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन हाउ आर यू होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर वेल इन एन्जॉइंग दिस ऑनलाइन स्टडीज सो इन प्रीवियस क्लास वॉट वी वर लर्निंग येस वी वर लर्निंग अबाउट स्टोरेज एंड मेमोरी डिवाइजेस सो टूडे वी विल कंटिन्यू विद दिस चैप्टर आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू अबाउट डेटा इंफॉर्मेशन एंड मेमोरी यूनिट्स टूडे आई विल टेल यू अबाउट कंप्यूटर मेमोरी सो वॉट इज कंप्यूटर मेमोरी एज यू नो we as a human are having brains to store the things in the same way computer stores its information in its memory so the memory of the computer is classified into two parts as you can see in the picture primary memory and secondary memory now primary memory is again classified into two parts ram and rom and secondary memory is having so many kinds like floppy disk hard disk cd dvd and pen drive now we will discuss about the primary memory and secondary memory in detail and we will know what is ram and what is rom so now let's see what is internal memory or primary memory internal memory is the built in memory designed to store data and instructions while the computer is working it has two types ram and rom so when we work on the computer then we work on the primary memory and primary memory comes with a computer in built okay so there are two parts of primary memory ram first is ram so what is a ram it it stores the information temporarily and works like a blackboard that can be constantly overwritten with new data the information stored in the memory is lost when you turn off the computer or when the power goes off so ram is also known as volatile storage memory since as soon as the light goes as soon as the current goes the information stored in the ram is lost it is temporary storage now what is rom the instructions stored in rom can only be read and cannot be changed it retains the stored information even when the power is switched off it holds the startup instructions that prepare a computer for use so when we start the computer then the starting instructions which require the computer to start are stored in rom and they are stored there permanently we cannot change them now what is external memory external memory is used to store information permanently data is not lost in the external memory even when the computer is turned off it is also called the secondary memory so if we want to store our things permanently then which thing we use we use external memory or secondary memory we have so many devices to store our data permanently they are called external storage devices so a computer uses various storage devices to store our data permanently the examples are hard disk cd dvd blu ray disk flash drive and memory card now what is a hard disk hard disk is the permanent storage for computer if you want to store your data permanently inside the computer you use hard disk and hard disk is fixed inside the cpu box it can hold a large amount of data up to 8 db of data a hard disk can store now what is a cd cd stands for compact disk it is an optical storage device it is circular in shape you use the cd at your home to store songs and music and videos it can store around 700 mb of data now what is a dvd dvd it stands for digital versatile disk it looks same like cd but it can store more data than a cd it can store up to 17 gb of data now what is blu ray disk a blu ray disk is a new optical disk format that can store up to 128 gb of data it also looks same like dvd and cd but it can store so much data now what is flash drive flash drive is popularly known as pen drive it is small lightweight and removable device you can copy and transfer your data from one computer to another using the pen drive now what is a memory card 
A memory card is a storage device which you use to store data in your mobile, digital cameras and music players. So if you want to store your data permanently in your mobile, you use memory card. So children, this much for today. I hope the lesson was fruitful for you. Thank you.